Hey everybody, Ronaldo Hoffman here of Gear at First. Today we're going to we're going to do a different kind of video. I originally I was going to make this a tutorial, and then I get a call from one of my clients. They're going to be doing a 1950s sock hop theme, and she's like, "What can we do around the DJ that really pulls that together?" And I'm like, "Man." How cool would it be? Because I've used LED walls as facades before, but what if we incorporated some of the uh, Global Trust F31 trussing, the tubing, and created a jukebox? And she's like, well, can you show it to me? I'm like, yeah, I've never done it before. So we're going to put this thing together. And we're going to see how it works. Either it's going to be beautiful or it's going to be a total failure. So uh, yeah, let's see how this turns out. Now, the reason... Uh, I'm doing this on videos because a lot of people ask, you know, what goes on behind the scenes and all that. I'm like, sure. So we're going to kill three birds with one stone. We're going to do a tutorial. Uh, we're going to do an educational video. And um, you get to see a little bit of what goes on behind the scenes, especially when nobody's here and it's just me. Haha. <laughs> now, the centerpiece of the facade, the jukebox facade will be the Blizzard Iris. Oh, I thought that was going to be a lot smoother than that. It was going to be the Blizzard Iris R3. Now, I have other LED walls by different manufacturers, but I continuously keep using these because I really like the design. Um, I'm a big fan of being able to attach them to the truss with just standard M8 bolts, which is nice. So I'll show you that in just a minute. And... Unlike other LED walls, and there's many different kinds, but this one I feel that when you snap them together, there's less of a gap. And in this particular build, that's gonna be very crucial because we're not gonna be able to really get our hands in some of the areas to be able to squeeze things through. We'll see. I don't know if I'm gonna need multiple things of truss or if I can just make like a small frame and then kind of hang that from there, or if I can even just do it with two totems and some very heavy base plates. So over there next to that warehouse is all the trussing that we have available right now that we can experiment with. Plus we've got our LED walls over here. Uh, yeah, let's see what happens. A, it's hot in here. All right, so we have a little bit of truss still available that we can uh, choose from. Uh, the five footers are going to be too tall, so maybe the three and a half or the four footers would do. See, I'm thinking these because then we could do this junction blo box it or junction block, then down here, and that might actually work. So let's go ahead and grab a couple of these. So for this uh, for this experiment. Uh, you can see right here, this is the F34 SQ4110. We're going to use two of these. We're going to use two 36 inch aluminum base plates. And then we're going to use some of our junction blocks. Um, I know we're going to need tubing. So we'll probably, ah, man, I might not have the right tubing for this. We're, we're going to figure this out real quick. We got the tubing here and then we have some more uh, of the F31 tubing as well. So we'll go over that in just a minute. First, let's build the truss frame and see what happens. This is a little too tall. Um, I mean, even my even the DJ that's going to be doing this is probably taller than I am, or I could put them on something a little bit, you know, some of them to stand on. But uh, damn it, let's try with shorter trussing, and if it doesn't look good, then we'll resort to this, and then have it a DJ on a platform of some kind, or maybe use the new one meter by one meter stage from Global Truss. I did not put the little arc clips in there. That's not a don't put the arc clips. Put the arc clips in there. I just want to do this real quick as a quick demo, but let me make this very clear. Anytime you go out in the field, don't play with people's lives. Put every single pin, put every single arc clip, and make sure you inspect everything. Now, this truss was already inspected before it went into the warehouse, but in case you don't know, you need to inspect every weld, everything, every single time, just to be sure. Now, this actually is a pretty good height. It's still tall, but you know, I'm, uh, I'm not the tallest guy around. But if I'm the DJ, okay, this is pretty comfortable. And this should actually give us somewhat of a decent sized screen. So let's see how well the Blizzard uh, Iris R3 will line up with this. First thing that needs to be done is we're just gonna see how many panels wide this guy is. So we can figure out how many we're gonna need. Now, another I think this will only do a two panel. Uh, we could probably do three. You know what? Oh man, oh man. 
This is super simple. I'm just using a Global Trust Mini 360. And I took the wing nut out of the bolt. And it just goes straight in. Well, let me give you a tip. <laughs> Aim the two middle ones first. You see this one, the clamp wouldn't go through. So it's only being hung by one clamp. However, before you say anything, this clamp can easily hold this panel. So it's about keeping the weight dispersed. But once this clamps onto here, then we should be good. And I can put a clamp down here if I need to, but here it will not work. However, it's not really just that. Once I put another one, this is not gonna line up at all. So I'm gonna take that back down. And I'm gonna center that one. Okay, let me break down what happened. So this doesn't align perfectly. The bolt would go right here. So I would have to basically put a, uh, not bolt, a, a clamp, which I have to go here, which it doesn't. So I have to put a clamp down here, which will still hold the weight technically, and it'll still be safe. But then the only way for me to do that is to have all four panels. I have to lay them down, put them together, then bring it up, which is gonna take about three people to properly do so you're not torquing the panels. And it looked, it's gonna look good. But then I thought, okay, crap. So now I need to do some sort of top. So you're gonna see just truss there, but no truss here. That's gonna look a little weird. So as I, got, as I put this last panel in there, the third one, excuse me, I'm like, well, why don't we leave it like that? Why don't we just do four panels and then have the truss frame go all around. And then it literally has the framing of a jukebox design. And then we just put pars all the way around, do some cool DMX sequence, <laughs> do some cool DMX sequences, maybe even incorporate cling net in there. So let's try that real quick. And you're gonna see how easy it is to put this panel that's close to the floor together with only one person doing it. So I've got a few options here. Option number one to do the top is I could do a small um, pull up there and then I have the circular truss. Here's the problem with that is it's too steep of an angle and this would be way too high. So now it's just gonna look like a freaking cathedral door versus a jukebox. So I found these. So it's time to do some math. This is the global truss. 4110, which I believe is like a 4.9 something foot piece. And then we got the junction block. So that means it's exactly whatever the length of this is, whatever piece you use. That's gonna be the exact length because you're using the junction blocks. I'm gonna use my rounded corners, but the rounded corners stick out. They're not perfectly flush like the junction blocks are. So I've got these two smaller pieces and lo and behold, it wound up being the perfect size. So this is gonna be a little too short. So for that, we're gonna use two more of the 4109-29. Uh, and that should work. I mean, it's, it's gonna, that it doesn't look as rounded as I would've liked it to be, but I do want there to be some sort of gap where the DJ is. You don't want the DJ to just be looking over the truss part. Um, if you're using, let's say, taller truss and you don't wanna use something that's even this uh, small because it's still too big, you can always use the spacers. Now spacers are really helpful for this sort of thing. But for now, I think this will do. So let's put it together. Huh. Crikey, so either I measure this incorrectly, <laughs> which I doubt it, because truss doesn't just go off by one millimeter, or I've got a bent piece somewhere. Um, 
or I am gonna need a second person just to help me pull this over. So it's almost all in. What I did is I popped it off and actually tried it this way first. And now this guy's in and all four areas are in. But I think the best way for me to do this now, it's to ratchet strap it. So I gotta look for some ratchet straps. First thing you should do is obviously try a different piece if you think one of these is bent. The next thing is to loosen everything up. So I've taken the bolts off here. I've kept the ones here that I've already strapped in but I took these off. Now, you'll see that the moment I snapped it off and I lifted it, it fits. Isn't exactly going in bright. But if I push down from the middle part, ah, uh, there it is. <laughs> so now, we just gotta hammer that in. Now you don't wanna do all four areas. You wanna make sure you do just the corners for now. Okay, that one's fighting me a little bit, so that's fine. Again, not gonna force it. That went in with no issue. But as soon as I brought this one in, then this one came down. Now, or came up, excuse me. Now that's not a big deal, because now that it's in, the ratchet strap will finish the job. So, we're gonna go over here, pull out. Now watch what happens. Now it's going down. And for that, I mean, this is a really weak ratchet strap. I don't recommend using, there's a big, thick yellow ones. Use those, don't use these orange ones, they're weak. But I don't know where the hell my yellow ones are. And that's it, how cool is that? So we have now jukebox that the DJ can go through, he can still see the crowd. There might be a couple uh, a couple surprises that we're gonna do to this, but I wanna do one thing at a time. So we've got the main body of the jukebox, so we're gonna do some custom graphics. This is gonna be done with the Blizzard Iris R3. Then we have the Global Truss doing a huge arch. So we've got two of the junction blocks. We've got two of the 36 inch base plates. We got one 4110. We have two 4110 dash 87.5. We have four of the 4109.29. And then we've got two of the rounded corners. Now, how's this for a facade? This is gonna be the main centerpiece of the entire homecoming setup. And we're really excited to show this to the client. So we'll see what they say. So the next thing is, we're just gonna put lights in here. We're probably gonna use, hmm. We're gonna use some sort of COB PAR. Because the COB PAR have that one center, uh, or at least it looks like one center source, versus the, like for example, uh, the ADJ hex PAR that has the five individual hex LEDs. Now we're gonna do one that's dead center, give it that classic look. And now here, this is what I was thinking about doing, is doing a, a faux pepper's ghost type of effect. Um, if the trussing, if we put trussing for the light show in front of this, and we get one good high power projector, or I might even just put a boom arm over here and do one of our small LED projectors, and then we do a, uh, it's basically a perforated screen. It's a silver coated perforated screen that allows it to work as an actual video screen, but you can see through it. It's used to do, is create ghost effects. So if we do something like that and have it down here, then we can have the animation of the records playing and all that, but the DJ would be here the whole time. So he still sees the crowd, he can still interact with the crowd. When uh, we could have a couple of lights here, so when they go on, then the crowd would see the DJ, but when they go off, it just looks like a solid jukebox. That might be the next level that we're gonna do. We just gotta figure out where the client is budget-wise and if she likes us to begin with. So that's it. Tell me what you guys think. I'm so glad you were able to stick around for this experiment. Most importantly, I'm glad I didn't get hurt. <laughs> Make sure you guys leave a comment, like, subscribe. Uh, most important, please, please, please leave comments. YouTube likes comments. And if YouTube doesn't like my videos, then I don't make more videos because I could be spending time doing other things to make money. So help me help you. Anyhow guys, thank you all so much. Have a great night and God bless.
hey, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more like it, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Gear it first, honest reviews, incredible gig logs, lots of tips and tricks, and more tutorials than any other YouTube channel. I guarantee it or your money back.